Hi guys, we are on question number 18. It says uh, use a graph paper for this question. The daily pocket expenses of 200 students in a school is given below. Pocket expenses and number of students and the uh, uh, money as well as the number of students is given. Draw a histogram representing the above distribution and estimate the mode. Okay, so I have been giving my class intervals uh, with a gap of 5, so this is 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 and 40. This is my x axis. What have I plotted here? I have plotted pocket expense in rupees increasing in this side. Please note I have very less space because the way the graph has been scanned you will have far more space. No problem. The next one that um, on the y axis what do we have? We have to go up to 50 right. So which means if I take a gap of 5 it should be fine. So this is 5, 10. Have they given any uh, units in the graph of in the question? No, they have not given me a scale. So I can have a scale of my choice 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Perfect. This is y axis and I have plotted number of students on this side. Perfect. The only thing remaining from my side is scale which I'll do it once I have done the histogram. So let's look at it. The first one is going up to 10. So I repeat, you will use this, you will draw this using a scale. I do not have access to a scale on this software. Next one is 14. So these 10 small lines are equal to 5. So 5 is equal to 10 lines, 4 will be equal to 8 small lines, which means 8 lines above 10. 8 small lines above 10. Perfect. That's the next one. Next one is 28, which means 3 more than 25, which means 6 small lines above 25 because 2 small lines is equal to 1 student. Perfect. Uh, I repeat, I do not have access to a scale on this software. You will draw this using a scale. Next is 42 which means four small lines above 40. Perfect. I can't say this more often. Use a scale. Next, 50. 50 is exactly here. So here, you will draw using a scale. The next one is 30, which is still here, and I join a horizontal. So both horizontal and vertical lines only using a scale. Freehand cuts your marks. This is 14, which is 8 small lines above 10. That's 14, and then the last one is 12, which would mean 4 small lines Oh, this is 14, yes. And then the last one is 12, which is four small lines above 10. Perfect. Now that I've made the histogram, let me just finally write the scale. On x axis, I have two centimeter is equal to rupees five. And on y axis, I have two centimeter is equal to five students. Done. Next, I join the lower limit of my, so this is my modal class. This is clearly my modal class. Uh, I join the lower limit of the modal class with the lower limit of the next class. Interval. So this is the, I join it with here using a scale and using 
a dotted line and upper with the upper of the previous one where is the intersecting they are intersecting on the third line right so third line i draw a perpendicular down onto the x axis this is the third line I draw a perpendicular onto the x-axis. This is the third small line after 20. So this number, which is three lines after 20, will be 21.5. This is 21.5. Zero. Why is zero? Because we are talking about money here. Therefore, mode is equal to rupees. 21.50 because money you need to write in two decimal places. I hope it's clear. I am repeating use a scale. Without a scale, you lose your mark. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.